Good morning everybody, welcome to a new video. We only need the two of us together. I need only you in this crazy world. Cause we got love, love. I need only you here with me. So this happened in the night. <laughs> Scared the bejeebies out of me. <laughs> um, I came in here to like brush my teeth and then this fell down really randomly. Anyway, good morning. I am still in my pyjamas. As you can see, these are my Harry Potter Hogwarts pyjamas. But they're really comfy and I'm so happy because it's so much warmer. I can actually be in a vest top without being too cold and yeah. Hooray. But anyway, I'm going to jump in the shower now and get changed. So ready? One, two, three. Oh. Oh, ah. that's a bit better. <laughs> Just needs to dry now. But I, oh, my voice. I am now super hungry. We had breakfast at 6 a.m. and it is now 12. So I'm going to go have some lunch and let my hair dry. Okay, it is now about two o'clock I have watched another episode of Ginny and Georgia I have had my lunch I've had all five of my f five a day in my lunch I've had melon strawberries bananas and apple and my innocent smoothie dang that means we can have pizza for dinner <laughs> um, but for the past few days I've really wanted to um, make some like loungy dungarees to be wearing like around the house when it gets warmer um, because I have leggings and stuff which are like comfy uh, um, but I just one I want to start making some stuff for myself so I think it would be fun to make some dungarees and two dungarees are cute so I've got this material some checkered if you can hear a noise next door doing something on the wall that joins onto us so yes <laughs> um, but yeah so I've got a pair of dungarees that I own out that fit me but I just feel like they come like the waistband comes on my hips rather than my waist so then the bit that goes like up like on the dungarees that goes like here makes me look really like long because it comes down really low um so they're just not tall enough for me i guess um so i'm gonna make them a bit taller but i kind of want them to make make them a little different i kind of want um like ones that tie on the top and then i want pockets in the like legs rather than in the front if that makes sense so yeah See, yeah, I'm gonna make it in a minute, but there we go. I'm gonna give it a go by just drawing on this. My mum did give me some patterns, but I don't know how to read them. <laughs> I got them out and they make absolutely no sense. So I am gonna do it this way and just see what happens. I've got so much, this is double folded, of this fabric, so let's give it a go. So Sam, who I got my um, biscuits for Jeanette and Bethan from, um, you know, the printed in stamped ones, messaged me and said, what's my address? Because she wants to bring something for me. But look what's just come through the door. I'm so excited to open it and see what's in here. Just wanted to say thank you so much for all your kindness and support and friendship through this year. I couldn't have managed without you. Ah, oh, Sam, you're so cute. Let's have a look. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, is this fudge? Or is it white chocolate? Oh, I think it's fudge. Oh. Oh my gosh, that white star was amazing. <laughs> I think it's fudge, but it's so soft. It's so good. Oh, oh I'm going to have to wait and eat it with Tom. <laughs> we'll have to share it. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> anyway, on with the dungarees again. <laughs> I 
I think I've done it and not accounted for my bum. <laughs> I think I've done them too straight. I might go sew them up and just see what happens. <laughs> okay, it's like six, half six now. Um, and I started doing the sewing machine. I did one side of the, like, one leg. And then, as I started to go down the other side, I'm glad I didn't go down the other side now because they're too small. <laughs> they're too tight. I can't even, like, get it enough up my thigh. Um, but, for some reason, it's not going right. Like, the top string isn't going around the bobbin and coming back out the bottom. It's just all tangling underneath. So, I'm unsure why that is, but... Fingers crossed I'll fix it tomorrow. Tom is home from work. We have eaten that thing from uh, Little Miss Cake Co. And we've watched the more Superstore. And now, for dinner. Pizzas. Pizzas. I had my five a day today, so I'm good already. We were so hungry, we baked the pizza and then ate it literally straight away. Yeah. <laughs> Did you vlog your little goodie bag? Yeah. I'm gonna try half this cookie. We had the meringue earlier and it was so soft, it, it was, was so good. Soft. And the fudge I said was real good. And the biscuit is good. Yeah. Not too sweet, but the icing's sweet, so it's good. Exactly what I pictured it would be like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we watched Helena and Martin's um, reaction video to their this first This and Paris videos with dinner. And I think we did watch them as they came out. Back in 2017. Yeah. Which is absolutely crazy. It's because I can never remember them going to, um, what's it called? The Lodge. Davy Crockett's right. Davy Crockett. <laughs> it's because I think we definitely did watch them as they came out because we booked our Disneyland Paris Based 2018 on... trip in August of 2017 and we watched Disneyland Paris vlogs before we did it and we found Helena Martin through their Disneyland Paris vlogs. Yeah. So we must have found them through their 2017 vlogs and I specifically remember watching their Disneyland Paris vlogs and we booked our trip and I remember one day sitting on the sofa to Tom and being like, Tom, I'm gonna do it. Mm. And you were like, what? And I was like, I'm gonna watch the Walt Disney World ones. <laughs> and then he was like, no! I was like, we're not allowed to watch them until we actually go. And then the year after, we like we watched the Disneyland Paris ones, and then we watched the Walt Disney World ones, and then we went to Disneyland Paris, and then as soon as we came back from Disneyland Paris, we only watched Walt Disney World vlogs, and then we booked to go to Walt Disney World. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Helena Martins, you definitely fueled our Disney fiend. You made us the people we are today. <laughs> Good morning. Morning. So last night we ended up just watching our own vlogs, didn't we? I miss Disney. It's because we watched um, Hella and Martin's reaction video to theirs. Yeah. So now you watched, you started putting us on. Well, I wanted to watch our vlogs for ages, and I like watching our vlogs. Like they, if I kind of like zone out that it's Ooh. us, it is just like watching Disney vlogs. Well, you, surely you watch it to like regain your memories. Yeah, better both, but like still, you know what I mean. Then we got up. We got some breakfast now. We're gonna catch up on any YouTube we've not watched yet and then maybe go on our walk because look at how lovely it is today. It's still a little cold now. I'm good. I went out to feed the birds and I was good in my cardigan. Yeah. So I think like maybe a coat but no no gloves or scarf or hat or anything will be fine. Yeah. But still it'd be nice to go for a walk in the sun. Yeah. I might try and finish the jigsaw. Why? I'm also going to try and finish my dungarees. <laughs> Yeah. Which probably won't turn out right. I think I did it wrong. I definitely did it wrong because I didn't follow a pattern. But there you go. <laughs> Maybe I should just Google it. At least the um, fabric wasn't too expensive. Yeah. But right, we're going to watch TV. And then maybe go for a walk and then Tom's got white later. Yeah. So, we'll see you in a bit. So I got melon and banana for lunch. Tom's had his chilli con carne. Mm. Was it alright? Yes. No way, spices I thought. From Aldi that one. That's good meal. I got that. We got some milkshake and we're watching, watching Kells and John. That You can't really see that line too much, but you can see it on camera. Um, and then as I walk, we're gonna, I'm going to walk on to work. And we're going to have beautiful sunshine. We've got all the windows open. Let all the fresh air in. And I'm going to do some washing. The sun just makes me more motivated, I think. I'm on a bike. 
Yeah, we do want to go bike rides. My mum and dad have bikes, so we'll do it when we can go round there and grab them. Anyone else's camera doing this? I'm not too sure why mine is. The shutters that the lens covers. Go on, up you go. They're getting a little stiff, but there you go. <laughs> um, it is definitely, officially, spring. <laughs> um, I know spring isn't until my birthday. The 21st of March is officially the first day of spring. And I love that. <laughs> um, but me and Tom, I just walked on to work. We just walked down in the sun with just a jumper on. Tom was just in his work t-shirt. It's officially summer. I had a jacket in my bag, did not need it. Came home, took the jumper off straight away because I'm boiling. <laughs> there you go. Um, sorry if you can hear lots of traffic. For some reason, as soon as it comes sunny, there's lots of traffic and lots of people. So there you go. But, Anyway, I am now home. I did a little bit of shopping because I needed some stuff because we're using up all the food that we've got and then going shopping when we've run out. So I've just needed to get the bits to go with stuff, if that makes sense. Um, so I've got some more onions. I've got some pasta sauce for me because I'm going to have meatballs and rice tonight. So I'm going to have onions and meatballs, tomato sauce and rice. It'll be Spanish y. <laughs> um, and yeah. I am now going to put all that away and then we have got this flower bucket thing from my nan for Christmas which I was meant to do in January, it said do in January and keep it inside because it's too cold so I decided I thought I'd wait till it's a bit warmer and do it outside so yeah I'm going to do that now, I thought it would be cute to do and put by the front door I re-threaded my whole sewing machine and it seemed to work like the error just disappeared so that must have been what it was so after I did that I um, worked out my issue with my <laughs> trousers my dungarees that I'm making because they were too small so I just added on a piece of fabric that I like cut out if that makes sense like I added it on upside down and it fits <laughs> <laughs> so I added on can you see if I stand in the light here can you see there's like a triangle there so I added on like a pizza slice and there it is it fits so this bit here is the crotch so that is my leg yay <laughs> Okay, so from, can you see this other bit here? Yeah. Um, that, from what I've made before, I have drawn around it, and can you see? You can kind of see, can you see it goes here? Purple line. I've drawn around them to make another pair. So this stops here. And I've got it folded over, so I've used the one I've just re-sewn the extra pizza slice into as a like template size to make a new pair that won't have this <laughs> um, pizza slice in so I realised I've also sewn the seams wrong so and fingers crossed this goes like as trousers and then I can put a waistband on top of this and then I can put a um, like vest top bit for the dungarees bit on top of that. Then fingers crossed I can use like these legs that I've already cut out for the other half um, for the vest top bit. Like I could use these as um, straps because I want to have it as a tie up on top of my shoulders and maybe I can do um, like this as the body bit, sew it together in the middle and put like something on it. I don't know. You know what I mean. But right, now I've done that, <laughs> I have pinned 
some extra bits on the edges just because it needs to be a little wider than what my legs are <laughs> um, but it is Friday it is quarter to seven so I best go make my dinner before me and Olivia watch our movie so the movie of choice today is The Devil Wears Prada which is spot on top notch film but Olivia's never seen it which is absolutely crazy just gonna put you there while I do this okay yeah blows my mind that she's never seen this film so yeah I'm giving her a Meryl Streep education <laughs> in The Devil Wears Prada um, but I've got pork meatballs and uh, tomato and basil zomio sauce basmati rice <laughs> um, and then I've got some onion as well so I'm gonna put all of that in a pan Abra Kadabra. so I just did cooking the meatballs in the pan and then I added in the onions and then I added in the sauce and then I added in the rice and then I added in the spinach all in one pot yum yum right it's time I've got my food I have left the washing up, I will do it later. <laughs> um, but it's time for The Devil Wears Prada. I cannot believe it came out in 2006. This is what we're doing now, Devil Wears Prada, and I'm so interested to see what Olivia thinks of it. We always talk throughout films on WhatsApp, like we um, like text throughout the whole thing, and I'm so interested to see what she thinks and what bit is her like favourite part, and whether she is <gasps> at anything. So yeah, <laughs> I am ready. Is Olivia ready? Ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Hmm. Ba 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 ba! <laughs> Does anyone remember? Does anyone remember watching the Simpsons movie and Ralph being on it like ba 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 ba? <laughs> oh, that's my favourite about that whole movie. <laughs> yeah. Love Anne Hathaway. Love her. Here comes the queen. There she is. Morning. Morning. <laughs> Tom's literally just gone up, so it don't is morning. Be. I don't know what time it is. You'll find me on the doubles every time. <laughs> Maybe it'll teach us to get up early. <laughs> um, it's now Saturday. We have got, and we are just going to watch the new episode of WandaVision. <sighs> and I'm excited because there's like people have tweeted and put on Instagram and stuff saying that it sets up for the finale real nicely. Oh. Mm. But I also heard that it's a bit of a filler episode. Oh, okay. We'll see. Mixed opinion. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to watch episode eight now. That episode has just left us with questions. I liked the episode. I liked it, I'm just saying it left us with questions. Yeah. But it's also kind of made me think things, which are now I'm not too sure if my thoughts are real or not. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, what, you had an idea of what might be happening and now it's been flipped over. No, it still could be a thing. What's, what do you, what's your theory? So I don't know. But that will all be like lip, 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 to you guys in case you haven't watched it yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just left us with questions and Tom's like, I think I remember these things from the comic book, so it might be that. And we're I like, don't I don't think. know. I said I have. That's what I mean. You, like, you're not too sure. You think. That? You don't know. It's all based on the comic books anyway, so... But anyway, yeah, so we, we are enjoying WandaVision. We just are ready for the next episode, like we need to know. But just so you guys know. It's the last episode, yeah, because it? No, you got nine and ten. Why? Um, but just so you guys know, if you've not watched it yet, eight, nine and ten are all four, uh, all 50 minutes long. Like, between 15 and an hour, whereas all the others were between 20 and half an hour. So give yourself some more time to watch it. Yeah. And the parcel we were waiting for has arrived. So I got these shorts. I don't think you can see them very well in the mirror. Oh yeah, there you go. I got these like paper bag waist shorts. Um, but yeah, and these are ten pound in the sale. But they only had up to size ten left. So, but yeah, I really like them. They're comfy as well and super flexible. <laughs> and Tom got um, some white trousers. 
can't see it because of the sun. They got funny line on them. Well, they've got a line, a stripe down the side, but they were five pound in the sale, and they're good just to go to work in. Yeah. Are they comfy? I'm comfy, yeah. Good, then that's fine. We also got Tom some grey trousers. Oh, they look more grey close up, but they look black. Like even in the camera, they look like dark grey. But on the internet, on the picture, it was light grey, wasn't it? Yeah. Or lighter grey. So I don't know. What they look like in the. They look more grey in the sun. But you both agree they do look better on. They still remind me of school trousers. <laughs> A little bit. But, but you said that. To be fair, my school uniform was like but, blazer suit. Yeah. And you said they're real soft. They are soft. I just mean the material. It's like silky. Silky, yeah. Trousers are all men's trousers are always silky, like suit trousers. Yeah. Now we just gotta find you a blazer and then you're all ready. But this is the dress I am wearing to the wedding that Tom has got those trousers for. So the grey is in my dress. So now you can just choose a colour out of this or what colour tie you want. Orange seems to be the biggest one. I don't know if I'd wear <laughs> an orange, orange tie. Blue's quite prominent as well. You could just wear a blue tie. Just take a snippet of this and make a tie out of this. <laughs> no. Why? You can't steal my dress. I can't. And that would be a waste in tie. <laughs> that would just like go go floating in the wind. Yeah. Oh, it feels restricting wearing jeans now, where I've worn shorts. That's what I'm like with shoes. I'm like, I've been wearing my Ooh, work shoes. Worn those in a while. Yeah, so I decided to wear them. Ooh. But I need to wear all my shoes. Because I'm the kind of person who wears my shoes so little. They're always, like, not always uncomfortable, but I don't wear them in. They might give you blisters all the time. Yeah. Not all the time, but... As in you don't wear them in enough that enough. there's a possibility that they could give you blisters. Yeah. Yeah. But right, what shoes shall I wear? Hmm. Dalmatians. We are here, we have made it to B&M, <laughs> we've been to Denelm and picked up my mum's order um, But right, let's go get in the queue to get in I got car sick Car sick? Yeah Aww. What is this? Archie's Kisses cereal? Crazy, Chips Ahoy, I love Chips Ahoy There's the Lucky Charms, but look, £4 a box <laughs> I've got the goods, got the goods Whoa, look at the size of that bottle of coke it's <laughs> three litres. <laughs> hmm, bit of a bust, but never mind. I got Pop Tarts. Pop Tarts. <laughs> Which you can't have yet. No, but we got Skittles cookies. <laughs> You can't see him. It's like a cow like conga line. A cow line. <laughs> And you can't see him. It's so long. You sort of can. It's so long. Oh, I can't get good footage of it. Why were they doing that? We are home. I just thought I'd show you what we got. I needed a drink, so we got a Vimto. And I got some Lotus stuff. I got a tiny little Lotus Biscoff spread. The jars are always so massive, and this one was a pound. So I was like, I'm going to get that. And I also got these two. Some biscuits and a to-go thing. And then we did get the skittle, the, the um, colourful skittle cookies. <laughs> but that's okay, all of that we can eat now, it's because no chocolate in it. But the stuff in here we can't eat yet, so they do Audi own what things. Is, what? Oh yeah. Is that what they look like? <laughs> no, they do Audi own of these and Tom always goes on about the Twix ones when we get them. So I thought I'd grab him those, but you can have those in the... In my lunches. In your lunchbox. So then pop up. After that, oh. and then pop tart wise, we've got s'mores and hot fudge sundae. So these are the two that they don't sell in normal shops, but they sell in B&M. So, mm. yum yum, but I have to wait. <laughs> My dad um, can't eat jam because he's got um, type 2 diabetes. So I have got... Diabetes. <laughs> so I've got... Um, the homemade jam that my auntie made, Hodge made, because their surname's Hodge. <laughs> um, jam that they made for my dad for Christmas, but they always forget that you can't have it. <laughs> so I get it. Hmm. Blueberry. Blueberry, and then a normal strawberry. <laughs> so for lunch we got 
oh, I've got ham sandwich, you've got ham and cheese toasty and the leftovers from my dinner yesterday <laughs> and then we're gonna have the Skittles cookie with the tea <laughs> but um, we were going to watch Infinity War with Helena and Martin but we got home a bit late because um, we nipped out to go see a house and stuff which we're not too sure, our brains are a bit confused aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so we're going to start Infinity War now and then maybe we can watch Endgame with them tomorrow or something So, but I'm excited are you excited? We haven't watched it in so long and we always forget bits. Like we always forget things. So I think watching it again will be good because then like it'll rejug our memories and all of the um, Infinity War and Avengers stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but. Ooh. That was epic, <laughs> but it went by real fast. Like oh, two and a half hours just flew by and it is now. Duck. <laughs> um, but right, it's quarter past six. We didn't cry this time. I cried when I saw it in cinemas all the way back in 2018, three years ago. Feels like longer than that. <laughs> but then 2020 did whiz by, but also feels like a lifetime ago. I don't know. <laughs> feels like longer than 2018 that Infinity War came out because then you've got Endgame as well. But Endgame was 2019 because I always will remember me and Tom went to go see Endgame in cinemas, midnight release, the day before we flew to Florida. <laughs> so it was absolutely crazy. Um, yeah, that was a tired. I think that's why I was so tired in Florida. Like you'll notice in the first few of our Disney vlogs, I am so tired. And I think that's because of that as well. Like obviously we didn't get home until like half past four because it's. Uh, I think Endgame. I think it's about three hours. So it didn't start till midnight, and then um, I was talking to you. we didn't get out until half three. So probably home about four. I was just saying that's probably why I was so tired in Florida on our first few days because we went to go see Endgame at the midnight showing the night before. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we do like Endgame and Infinity War, but we didn't Was it Endgame or was it Infinity War? We saw Endgame. It was Endgame. Yeah, because they came out the years straight after each other. Um, but yeah, I cried when I saw this in cinemas. You cried? When I saw this for the first time in <laughs> cinema on the big screen. I was like, no! <laughs> <That's silly. laughs> um, but yeah, we like it, don't we? Yeah. Excited to watch Endgame tomorrow. Put down in the comment who's your favourite Avenger or character in the MCU. Um, I don't know who mine is. Everybody loves good old Spidey Man. Star Lord I like, but he makes stupid decisions. Um, I don't know. I just I think Tom's is Iron Man. I think, but I just don't know. I just don't know. I can't decide. Too many choices. So we got chicken, broccoli, and green beans. We always have vegetable pilau rice. But we're having the Sharwoods Japanese katsu curry. I know you wouldn't normally have pilau rice with it, but never mind. But we're going to try this one. We haven't had this katsu curry before, have we? No. We had the, um, oh, what's Blue it called? Dragon. Blue Dragon, that's it, well done. <laughs> Ta-da! Now I know I've had rice two days in a row, but I don't mind. <laughs> it too, it's different enough to be different, you know? <laughs> Good morning everybody, I am sewing this all together today. One leg done. <laughs> okay, that's good. You're silly. In the middle of the roll. It's on your blurry <laughs> face. That looks way better than the last one, though. Yeah. <laughs> Three 
o'clock. I have done all of it apart from so the inseam of one leg and then stitch the legs together and then it's almost done. Um, we're just going to take a break because we're going to watch Endgame now. We are taking a break in the middle of Endgame so I will stitch up the inseam then but yeah let's make a tea, watch Endgame and then I'll come back to you. Trying them on again. Okay. Yeah, Wearing the truth for one side, not the whole up, or your trouser bits. <laughs> Real <big>. What? <laughs> what? Lumpa like <laughs> things in. Them. No, no, it's okay. Look. Really? Because <laughs> then I'll put the waistband on. With some elastic. You're not doing enough enough on the top. Like. I know. I need to put a waistband in, and then attach the t-shirt. <laughs> so I want some elastic on the. Wait, turn around. <laughs> it's baggy. But it's okay because it'll have to. That will be. You'll sew it together. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Jessica. <laughs> Maybe I've got them on backwards. <laughs> I don't know. This is inside out anyway, that's why you can see all the seams. <laughs> it's okay, I'll work it out. It's the first thing I've ever made, so I'll work it out and I'll add in a big old waistband before it gets to the top um, because I want some elastic on the hips anyway. I just didn't give it enough space at the top um, when I cut it out like space between like the bit where it goes into the crotch from the leg up to like your tummy and around your bum I guess um, I just didn't make it long enough and then I over contemplated maybe I did do it right the first time but I just didn't know because I don't know <laughs> I don't know <laughs> but they're a bit wide now <laughs> um, but it'll be okay because dungarees are baggy so it'll be okay I'll figure it out. Just not today. I'm done for sewing today. Um, I'll figure it out in the next week's video. <laughs> but right, Helena is ready to restart Endgame again because I did the sewing in this little break. So, we will see you in the next video. We'll finish this vlog now and then I'll join you next week when I try and fix the dungarees. Oh. But right, thank you so much for watching this video.